Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also, comment. Let me know your thoughts on the story. Nana Opang is due to come face to face with a judge this month, whom will decide his fate for the brutal and deplorable M of 50 year old Robert Powell. Nana Opang faces multiple charges, they include murder, GBH with intent, and also possession of a pistol, and also dealing. Now when the murder of Robert Powell made the headlines, mainstream media were quick to classify Robert Powell as nothing more than a granddad, as to desensitise his own gang ties. Now Robert Powell was known as Fox. He was a well respected hackney gangster and was also manager to UK rapper Dutchie Veli. Between them the duo repped two up, two down. Now Fox and Nana Opong, who went by the name Enz, were known to each other. In fact, their lives were intertwined. They suffered a very strained and tumultuous history. It was no secret that Fox extorted other known gangsters. Men, women and even teenagers were not exempt. And in one fundamentally pivotal incident, it was alleged that Fox had taken Enns captive, put him in a boot, took him to a flat, stripped him before he was with instruments. Now Enns bared the permanent scars. The many people who knew Fox knew it was not a surprise that Nana Opunk would allegedly be the man responsible for Fox's M. After all, Fox helped shape the person Enns would ultimately become, and that would be a hitman. It was the unequivocal law of the jungle scenario. Now Nana Opunk, the East London gangster, was small in stature, but he had a big heart, too big. He was the opportunist, a hitman, a gangster was intellectual gifted and cunning. When on trial for the M of Ashley Latty, Nana Opong was able to argue GBH instead of murder. He also famously captivated the gallery when telling the jury and the judge when he was asked to join in on the ambush of Ashley Latty, he felt flattered to have been asked. Enns knew how to work the system. A 25-year-old Ashley Latty had attended a private party at the Beaver Centre with a friend in Dagnam. During the early hours of the morning, Ashley was standing outside waiting to leave. Just before 5.30am on the 18th of May back in 2014, when he was spotted by Nicholas Talong. Immediately, Nicholas rounded up the East London gang that consisted of Enns, Tyler Burton, Jerome Joseph and Kestro Dyer. Now Nicholas pointed out that Ashley had stolen a heavy gold chain from him previously. In front of witnesses, Ashley Datty was ambushed from all directions. It was quick, it was swift and it was brutal. He was struck with hands, elbows, legs and goodness knows what. And sadly, he was fatally stabbed five times in total, chest and back. Now some of the partygoers attempted to intervene but they too were also struck. In the incident, Enns, who was working as a cleaner at the time, says he did not know his cob accused but again felt flattered to be asked to join in. Ashley was pronounced dead at the hospital soon after. Now for this incident, Enns was jailed for four years, and that would be for GBH. Now back to Fox. The fact that Fox had subjected Nana Opang to such brutality warped his psyche, so much so that he began to tap in to his cultural history, and that being he started allegedly doing juju. Now it was also said that Nana Opang, aka Enns, who was also part of the East London gang system, who were also known to deal Class A gear, steal cars, extort other known dealers, and of course M. Enns himself was a contract K, and was said to have been responsible for at least five different M's over the years, 1999, 2001, 2014 and the Fox M. But Enns allegedly practising Juju, he had nine lives and counting. He was also supported with the fact that he would always wear a protective vest. Enns was also implicated in the 1999 M of Jeremiah O.K. from Plasto, but again he was acquitted. And the 2014 M of Ashley Latty, which we have discussed. Now on May 29th of 2010, Nana Opang was celebrating his 30th birthday at Forest Gate Sugar Lounge. Patrick Ford from Tottenham and Eugene Brown were said to have been to the left and right of Enns on a dance floor. 
Now, it was alleged that a trigger man, later alleged to have been Michael Smith, had fired at both men. Now, it was says that Eugene Brown from Forest Gate, who was in a gang, it says they had pulled a pistol and fired at the ceiling several times at the sight of Michael Smith and Nana Opung, who were known rivals. In the same nightclub, Kevin Powell, who is Fox's brother, was with Eugene Brown and Patrick Ford. They were mates. In response to the, the birthday celebration was finished. The music stopped and clubbers had exited the club in every which direction. CCTV caught the moment that ends had spoken to Michael Smith outside the club. Michael Smith was then caught on CCTV and according to witnesses, walking up to Eugene Brown, pistol aimed and then fired, striking Eugene in the head. Michael Smith pressed the trigger three times. Patrick Ford was also struck in the chest and he was pronounced dead immediately. Fox's brother Kevin Powell gave chase, himself brandishing a pistol. He fired at the group consisted of Michael and Enns. He shot between 9 to 14 times. Michael was struck at point blank range in two separate occasions, his white suit tainted red and the target areas being the back, chest, leg and even face. Michael then jumped into Enns' BMW which was driving away and he was left at the hospital entrance by Enns. Now at first Enns was treated as a witness and it took him three days to make a statement but he soon became implicated in the M when the evidence came to light. Now Enns told prosecutors, the judge and the jury all he did was save someone's life. Now on trial for the M of Patrick Ford and Eugene Brown, Enns was found not guilty, but he was judged for two years for perverting the course of justice. Now so far, if you believe the stats, Nana Opong was 4 for 4. So, 50-year-old Robert Powell, aka Fox, had attended a party on Water Lane in Royden, near Harlow, Essex. While outside an address in the early hours of the morning on Saturday, June 13th, 2020, Police believed that Nana Opang was one of three men travelling in a stolen car, armed with a 9mm pistol. As they drove past the bustling party, Nana Opang fired from the car, striking Fox eight times. Now when the incident was investigated, police sifted through 190 hours of CCTV footage. They also had taken 119 statements and catalogued 661 pieces of evidence. Now emergency services were called to the scene and Robert Powell was given emergency treatment at the scene before being rushed to hospital. Sadly, the dad of three was pronounced dead the next day. As for Nana Opong, he travelled back home, packed a bag and then boarded a flight to Spain. In 2022, Nana Opong then attempted to travel through to Morocco by entering Port Tangier. He was using fake documents and ultimately was caught. So in June of 2023, Nana Opong, whose face was shown across the world as he was on the world's most wanted list and also Interpol's red list, he was extradited back into the UK and then charged with the M of Robert Powell and also dealing offences and again he's due to stand trial soon. Nana Opong was not a man to mess with and sometimes rumours are exaggerated but in Nana Opong's case, Rumours are met with a degree of truth. Stay safe, safe.